Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match of CCL Champions Cup Season 48. We've got Thomas T and Dark Elves versus Dari Yawus and his Halflings. His Halflings have rolled a 1 on the Master Chef, and he's got Zara the Slayer and a Babe. And in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! Oh. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, I recommend switching it to double speed. Uh, go in the options, select two times speed, because uh, this is not going to be much of a match. <laughs> uh, I mean, Darius is great, um, and he's great with flings. I played him uh, on his flings last season uh, when I was Woody's. Um, and I mean, yeah, he's, he's a genuinely good fling player, um, but Thomas T is... One of the absolute best Dark Elf players, and this is a shit matchup for Flings. Yeah, I mean, he, he can high roll, obviously, so... Yeah, but there's so much tackle and diving tackle, like, he's taken away, like, things that Flings are not shit at. Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking really rough. It's looking really rough for the, the Flings, but it's not over. It's not over, no. but, you know, I'll try and talk a bit slower so that the people watching on double speed... <laughs> <laughs> can still understand <laughs> what I am saying. <laughs> oh, dear. It's funny. I do like watching things on like one one and a half times speed usually because two tends to be a little bit too fast. Yeah. Whereas one and a half. No, one, one and a half. Like, it's genuinely like a decent way to watch things. Um. You just like get used to the sort of distorted voices and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's a bit like reading fast, isn't it? Where you just yeah. you get pretty much everything you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you're paying real attention, then yeah, you're actually like following what ha what's happening. Hmm. But then it's like work, and you don't want to fucking work. <laughs> I don't want to fucking read, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, read, reading is basically work. <laughs> yeah, do you know if you want to know how to read, I can tell you. I can tell you how to read. Um, <laughs> so first of all, first, I'll show you. Look, this is interesting. It's going to be more interesting the entire match. So I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. Right? If, yeah. if this is the text right along the page, you take your finger and you like and move. You don't it have to pause, pause, right? And, no, I do. I do have to pause. Yeah, oh, no, oh, yeah, man. I won't. Yeah, because it's more interesting than the match. Fuck the match. Right, so so you take your finger and you like put it under what you're reading and like move yeah. it faster than you'd like, right? So you so like yeah. straight away, so that's already trying to like make it you go a bit faster. Then eventually, yeah. what you, you use your peripherals, right? Yeah. And and so you start here and move to there, and then your peripherals are like getting the half and the half. And then eventually, what happens is you can just look there and then look yeah. there, and then you yeah. just like read the whole sentence like instantly. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. No, for sure. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. And so yeah. now I just like read unbelievably fast. Yeah, no, I, uh, I spent seven years at uni. Uh, you don't do that if you if you don't learn how to read. <laughs> like, learning to like, skim, skim read uh, like that. Learning, learning to read with Jim and Daedal. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't now, now fluent readers after being an alphabetic. <laughs> Selling babies was never on the table. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there you go, there's another removal. Uh, on the first. I don't know why I thought there was another. There you go, the first removal. <laughs> a removal. <laughs> there's a first removal, something happened. <laughs> Can he have yeah. Really. I mean, like, imagine if he'd taken all the rerolls, right? He only took one off the chef. If he'd taken all three, and the, oh, yeah. the dark elves have got no rerolls, maybe there's a chance. But even then, they've got they've got dodge anyway, and like they just don't yeah. need to do much, do they? Like, it's. To be fair, this is a Thomas T team, so it's a bit banged up. Yeah, it's not a great team to be fair. Yeah, honestly, at the start, I expected this to be better than it was. It's a pretty basic team, but even then, it's like it doesn't. It just doesn't need much, does it, to be way, no. way better than Halflings? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thomas, like, goal here has to be like, all right, get the game in the bag and then level players. 
Yeah, win with as little attrition. Well, he doesn't even care about attrition. He just needs to just win, actually. He doesn't really care yeah. about levelling people or anything. He's not going to win Chalice. Is it? Like, this team is ultimately not good enough to win Chalice. Um, and I mean, you say that. No, you're probably right. Yeah, it's not. It's not. There's nothing yeah. to it. Got a blood step, blood step tackle, move up tackle. It's I was trying to think, like, when's the last, like, Quite shitty team that won challenge, but I can couldn't think of any. So uh, just just recently there was a pretty shitty team that won it, wasn't there? I mean, yeah, but it, even that one, like the the pros that won last season, had like a strength four catcher and yeah. a move nine blitzer. Like they they had two really great fucking tools, and yeah. this this team has one decent tool. Like yeah. that's. And I do, I do prefer elf teams like that pro elf one that's got a couple of really good players, and you know, than, than the ones that are just like blanket blotch and that, you know, a bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Because the blanket blotch is so expensive, and yeah. like, yeah, but you don't have a true wing card. Like, you don't have cheats. Yeah. You need to activate the cheat with the elves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I pre prefer in my elf teams, to be honest. Just yeah. those big superstar players that. Like I think that's what you need to win Chalice, basically. In my I mean, opinion, either that or the or the really deep one that's like just solidly built. But um, like even then, like if if it comes to that stage, like you're most likely gonna have like something extra, whereas this team like just lacks that, right? Because it doesn't have that. That it's not that thoroughly developed. Like we've seen way better honesty teams. Yeah, like, like this always. is like this is like so underdeveloped, it's unbelievable. Like it's, yeah. there's nothing to it. Like this is this is really a nothing team. Like this is unbelievable how how poor this team is. Like it's just like it's not developed wrongly, is it? It's just not developed at all. So he, he ain't winning Chalice with it. Yeah, Chunter's team got got half killed and. So did uh, Sparky's in the final. Like the Chunter Sparky final was like two terrible, terrible teams. But at least they they started better and got injured. Like yeah. whereas Thomas T's team is just just undeveloped. Oh wow! And, and and we also know that Thomas T's team also get killed. So like if this team gets killed, like what does he have? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the good thing is he can't get killed that much because there's nothing to kill. <laughs> I don't hate that. Um... I think he's in such a shit position. Uh, shame that it fell. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hit it either. Like it's funny because the their offense is often terrible, isn't it? Like yeah. stunning teams' offense because they've got to defend the ball and. What got... did he take for inducements, by the way? Uh, Zara, Chef, Babe. Oh, he didn't get more than that. I, I guess that's the good thing about Thomas T's team in this matchup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's good enough, isn't it? It's got the bludge that they can't deal with, and it's yeah. got the tackle, the diving tackle, and tackle, just tackle. But didn't they have a diving tackle tackle? Maybe last game. <laughs> um, but yeah, like just block and tackle is enough to wreck, yeah. Yeah. wreck yeah. flings, isn't it? You don't need sure. a mighty For blow sure. tackle even. Um, no. Well, you're getting three, three mighty blow hits as this, right? Um, compared to normal. Too. Yep. Blanket edge for some blodge, step, some tackle, it's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. And we're throwing flings. <laughs> yeah. God, this is uh, a bit sad. Like, it could have gone better than this, but it's not it's like you know, it's, it's not even gone that bad. Like, is it? He's got two removed and removed one. Like, it's not actually like he had the chance of the score there. It's just. It's just half things are really bad, especially versus the competent opponent with elves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like if he doesn't get unlucky, he gets that score right, and then it's decent. Like, yeah, right. yeah, decent, but still probably gonna get two one grinded. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, 
I'm gonna soul up for a second and read something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's no, it's it's a pretty zone out game. This isn't it, to be honest. Like sadly. Yeah. And then, and like especially when it goes like this, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah right, the... Had the first turn been like Kaz Kaz Gang Foul yeah. Kaz, then we'd have had a game. But um... yeah. Or if, at least if it gets that score, like there's something, right? Because then suddenly, like Thomas T is on a clock this half. Um, not not a difficult clock to beat, but like at least we can talk about something. Yeah. Now it's just like he's gonna grind his. I wonder if he, you know, he's blitzed there. I wonder if he should have blitzed and got forward, right? Because this this witch elf could have run around, double flush Zara, and then surfed Zara with the dude who stood there. That might have been worth. Trying. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess he's just playing not to lose. He's still got three turns to score. Yeah, like it was definitely safer to blitz him and get up, like, but it would have been pretty cool yeah. to have uh, surfed her. Oh, for sure. Because, like, she, like, not, not just because it'd be funny or cool. The fact is, like, with she's saving eight. Yeah. Well, she's she's got the stab right, which is the best chance that the halflings have got of getting your ball off you, basically. Yeah. And uh, and also, she's kind of got plus movement when she goes for it with the the way. Um, stab with the way stab. Played. Yeah. Or bugged, not bugged, implemented incorrectly. Saying bugged is really giving Cyanide too much credit. <laughs> I just think they just didn't know how it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very true. <laughs> His sheer incompetence. <laughs> oh, here we go, surf this guy. No. So you could have surfed him with the, with the, uh, yeah. with the witch, couldn't you? Yeah, he's just got the loves. That has to be it, right? Mm, maybe. I think it's maybe a bit dangerous if it's just. I don't know if he could have got 3D or not. It's like that's the bonus, right? It's, it's that he's getting the SPP. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I guess it's worth leaving him on there because otherwise he can base the ball. I guess no, it's not worth because who cares if he bases the ball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, fair enough. He could dodge in. He could dodge in and hit the ball. That's probably worse, isn't it? Like, worse for the elves. That's probably the point. He's dodging through tackle. No, like with, uh, oh, with, with the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's right. got break tackle, isn't he? Yeah, just. Yeah. Double GFI. I don't know why I didn't do that. Mm, I, would, I mean, I, I wouldn't be playing halflings, but if I was playing halflings for some reason, then yeah, just just whack it in. I guess because he has no. No, he has a scoring threat. Yeah, I, I'd like that. Yeah. I think that's the play. Yeah. Mm, genuinely the player. Genuinely the player with three blitz. Oh wow, Le Double Skulls. Into another one in nine. Fortunately, it's playing as swings that don't have anything. Yeah. How far down the field does he get, need to go? Uh, 13, 12, 11, exactly where he is. Oh no, he could have been. Uh, yeah, exactly where he is, but he, yeah, he gets to run the witch through, doesn't he? So. It's a little bit extra. He yeah, hasn't got sidestep, like, so he could get pushed back. And he hasn't. Um, he's got sprint. I'm not sure if he break it. Yeah, he's got sprint. Yeah, so it's, it's eleven. He's just so no rerolls to to score. Oh yeah, yeah. He's not just in range. Yeah, sorry. So he could get pushed back and still be in range. So sprint. Yeah. And no rerolls. Yeah. Yep. Correct. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. He's, not, he's gonna attempt to score on the witch because that's one less dice roll. Yes, but I mean, he would, he's just, he would definitely just be doing what was easiest. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be scoring on the witch to level it. No, he's just scoring on the witch because it's the best odds. 
Should have, uh, no, he shouldn't have. I was going to say he should have moved somebody, but he, no, that was right. Because, you know, the bubble box. I guess he yeah. should have actually moved somebody for the bubble box. Um, yeah, he could have actually moved the line somewhere for a bubble box. But, you know, technically, could have been technically better there, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> he could have added 0.01% equity. <laughs> yep. But at least with players like that, you know it's just definitely better. Like, there's, it's very rare that you know things are just definitely better. Or yeah. Only a one, only a one on the uh, chef again. So hardly. And this is the thing, right? With four uh, outcomes, like that's average. Uh, well, it, it's the shittier end of average. Yes, I mean, yeah, it's it's one or two, isn't it? Or the or the more like. One and two are equally likely, and then three and zero are equally likely. Yeah. So. But if you divide it into like zero and one, and then two and three, like yeah, you roll either a zero or a one. Yeah. So, but. <laughs> but also, the one is more likely than the zero, and the two is more likely than the three, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, because they're fifty-fifty chances. What? So you've got to like it's a one in eight to uh, fill them all, and a one in eight to make them all, and then a three in eight for the other two. Lost me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not all day hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough math. <laughs> okay, we can teach you to read, but we can't teach you math. <laughs> That is hard. See, the Blood Bowl community is filled with people. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> For some reason, the men's I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about, like, killing people. <laughs> I thought, Ungern, what, is he some kind of sexy boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, I forgot about all the Kazi mates. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Wow, what's the play here? Wouldn't it be fun to tell as much as. Do you know, wouldn't it be good, right, if if the tree man could just throw Zara and then Zara could run the oh. stuff? That'd be really good. Yes, that would be, that would be glorious. Really nice. <laughs> Was there any new fun matches that I Rick played today. I didn't uh, catch the end of that. No, we, with no spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah. But it was interesting and worth watching. <laughs> yeah, right. It was a good game. Like, it was a good game, as you would expect, right? Yeah, I watched so. parts of it um, when I came back home from the hike, and then uh, I had to do stuff. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, a good match. Yeah, well, two great coaches, right? Uh, one that I'm playing Kislev, uh, so... Something's gonna and the rowdy one playing Kislev. Yeah. So something's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Diamond's pretty rowdy too, to be fair. Yeah, yeah he's not unrowdy. He's not Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty rowdy. No respect for the break tackle here from uh, Thomas T. No, I, it's a little bit odd. I mean, it's uh, it's not that serious, but still, why give them the chance? Mm. Because this guy's going to dodge off. Yeah, I knew he was. Oh, okay, but he's gone to that square. But still, it's still just like pretty easy, isn't it? Like 1 plus 0. He's throwing 6, so it's a 1 plus 0 plus for dodging. And then 1, 2, so it's a 2 plus in for 2D on the ball. Surely he's got to do it this time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I guess it's really Shit. Like you don't want to do it, and like yeah, okay, he hasn't got block attack or anything, but like it's 
It's really good odds considering how shit the situation is. Also, how shit his kit is. What a disgusting, what a disgusting team yep. kit. It's okay, we're just looking at the ass of this guy. Now, here we go, we're in, we're in. Oh, he's 3 d not the ball. He didn't dodge, he just hit the guy on 3D. Oh, so and then GFI'd to uh, base the ball. Okay, well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, again, that's probably one of the things where you know, Dari Yawus, I don't know how you pronounce it, but Dari Yawus obviously does great on ladder, right? Like, much better than I've done with flings. And yeah. that, that, you know, kind of conservative play is probably going to be good against your average CCL coach. It's gonna get you yeah. good results or whatever, you know. But against against the good players in the chalice, you've got to like, you know, who are trying playing to win, not playing to just keep their team yeah. alive. Most of the time, when I'm playing yeah. halflings in CCL, I'm just thinking, oh well, I don't want them to randomly cast somebody as I inevitably beat them, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so like, but in the chalice, you've got to you've got to sometimes yeah. take the riskier. The riskier lines, haven't you? Yeah, for sure. When you're when you're the underdog, and especially when you're the underdog and you're behind. Um, it's like when's he getting the ball? Yeah. It's a funny. It's funny how it changes, like based on your equity assessment. I guess that's the thing, isn't it? The, yeah. It's not always safe moves. Like you know, it's not always that the safest players are the best. Oh, definitely. Lemez, did you did you play against uh, Arger? Because <laughs> you feel it feels like you're scarred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've just realised I should have put something in the title. There's a there's what's it called? There's a there's a tournament coming up soon. Yeah. A 64-man tournament, apparently. Knockout. Uh, NAF oh, yeah, the uh, Andy Davo thing. Well, it's not an Andy Davo thing, no, but he's been contacted. That It's a it's an yeah. eSports thing. Um, yeah, he sort of put it, put it together. And they've, yeah, it's an eSports thing that they've, that they've talked to him and he's helped them. But it's not an Andy Davo thing, it is a... It's an actual esports company thing. And, uh, yeah. Wow, look at that. He just the uphill and gets the block. Um, so, yeah, wow. Oh, no! Oh, no, he rolled a one. He could have scored. That was crazy, wasn't it? What an amazing no. thing. Oh, no. Um, and he stunned himself. Yeah, tragedy. A tragedy. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got three I've got three slots to fill. Um, so if anybody wants to play in that tournament, give me some money, and you can be in. This <laughs> got actually a decent chunk uh, prize pool, right? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, it's more than nothing, but it's not a decent prize pool. Hundred, hundred dollars for first and twenty five for second. It's better than a kick and let me win a tournament of Blood Bowl and get a hundred bucks. Yeah. It's, it's, yes. It's not much though, is it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, in the grand scheme of things, it's it's not a lot. It's two dollars no, per it's... competitor. That's that's pretty low. <laughs> yes. Okay. When you look at it like that, yes, yeah. for sure. It's if if ball, anybody's but... playing for the money, then I think you're playing for the money. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah. Like, you're not playing yeah, for the money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 No. That's. Yeah, that's but all this time it, there is actually money in it. Yeah, yeah, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Will the amount we win increase our body count? No, probably the exact opposite. To be honest. Any of Jim slots? I've had a free slot in my life. <laughs> 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 Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh dear. 
<laughs> imagine, go imagine walking through your life with your slots freed up. <laughs> so you go, yeah. Like I don't, I don't really know who I should invite or whatever or anything. So. No, me neither. But I'm gonna make up some stupid criteria and then uh, hopefully two people will be on my stream when I stream. <laughs> <laughs> could have a JFW match to see who <laughs> The thing is, most people are streamers anyway, so I've already... Yeah. Or in anyway, I guess. Ask for volunteers. Nah, I think people can just pay me. <laughs> I think that's the best way. <laughs> people just pay. You've got to pay. <laughs> PC will have been invited anyway, when he probably Shawnee will have been as well. Maybe not. Maybe not Core, but probably, right? I'd probably invite Core and Shawnee because they're the best, even if they're not as, even if they're not as prevalent lately. <sighs> Kalon responding, responding to himself to say, I love that this is continuing. <laughs> Always looks funny on the screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's obviously not how the nested replies work in Twitch chat, but it just looks funny when it comes on the screen. Hello, yes. Samich. Hello, Samich. The banana man is here. <laughs> oh, God. Is, is he blitzing? Yeah, he is. Okay. I was going to say happier than ever, but that's not true. But I'm pretty... I'm in a pretty good mood these days. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Artemis, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll don't know what Artemis will be having. Wow, look at that. The Dubler Gear Fighter Force of 1 in 36 roll. Very exciting. Yeah, glorious. Like, I just don't think it's worth it. Do you know, like, you know, things, situations like that, I just don't think it's worth it, right? Yeah. And you hear people all the time saying, oh, like, they could roll a 1 in 36. And it's like, yeah, but it's so low odds, it's just not worth it your own like your own move to like do it do you know what i mean like getting out of position yeah. and making rolls yeah. to force it it's like there's a time and a yeah. place like sometimes it is worth it but for the most part but most of the time pe people make way to way uh, dicey moves to get that little equity yeah and then they're like very hesitant to take like way better odds or something reasonable yeah exactly <laughs> like like that like that uh, sweet even the other game where it didn't roll it and it's like, you just got to, you just got to, because it's the yeah, payoff. Uh, yeah, exactly, Chunter's uh, last, last move there, right? Yeah, you got to, you got to, because you lose if you don't re-roll. Yeah. And it, it made, like, three really weird um, re-roll decisions, and that probably cost them the game. Yeah. Guess. Well, I say really weird, but like at least debatable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not really weird. No, that's that's unfair. Well, the last one was really weird because the last one was just literally you lose. Yeah, yeah. You lose next turn, yeah. so you have to reroll. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no there's no doubt about that. No matter how relevant you think any move is on that turn, you have to reroll it because it's almost certainly your last turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the last one was really weird, but the other one was just. Not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad. Which is a genuine thing to say a lot of the time. Which is why that's, yeah, that's, that's what's what pissed me off. That's, that's, that's what pissed me off about the rebel rules of, you know, like, that's what you've got to say. Because it's fucking stupid. Because I mean it sometimes, you know? Uh, there's yeah. no there's no Blood Bowl <laughs> oh, I stuff. I didn't even know that there's... Yeah, that was their instructions. Was if, if you were, like, officially casting a rebel game, then, uh, then try to use things like, that's not what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> who can say if it's yeah. good or bad? Guy. Uh, I don't right. think they did that part, but I think it was. Okay, so that's that's so, uh, yeah, that's where it came that's from. That's where it comes from. Yeah, yeah, it's not what I would have done like that. It's it's something like that they said in their official guidelines. Yeah, but, you know, I, yeah, but, you know, I think it's hilarious that you say it all the time because it is. It does make a lot of sense, right? Um, yeah. But then 
like when you way overuse it, like you really have to like look for intonation to see when you're just taking the piss. Yeah. <laughs> or when there's when there's like actual value behind it as well. Music expressed in this stream. Yeah, well, it's the thing. Like it, 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 it really did. I did think it was terrible because you know, Blood Bowl is that kind of games where that's all you can say because. That's all you can say. Yeah. Who knows if it's right or wrong? Like literally, yeah. a lot of the time you there don't. There is no screw. Wrong. All this just different payoffs. Like just like. listen to how. Yeah, just listen to how many times like we argue about things because um, we all like play the game slightly differently. Yeah. Uh, but only because we don't know what the right answer is. Like that's the problem, exactly, right? Like it's, exactly. It's, yeah. it's not because it's not because uh, I know there, there's been a lot of back and forth between Try and Chunter because you know like Chunter was saying like there's player styles and stuff, and Try's like that's bollocks. There's a there's a right way and a wrong way, and it's just we don't know what yeah. the right way is, you know, and, and like and that's basically yeah. the truth, you know. Try is right in that yeah. regard, <laughs> and while some people may choose to play wrongly on purpose, like the people who pick halflings, um, and that's not going to change. <laughs> no, no, exactly. No, definitely, definitely. Um, so there is an element of that. Obviously, there is an element of that. But yeah, ultimately, like you, we just don't know. Nobody knows the answer of like which plays better in a lot of situations, and, and they've yeah. just got pros and cons and. Well, you know, it's not what you can say, but it's interesting. That's yeah. really interesting, as Kalon would say. <laughs> That's really super interesting. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jim. It was super interesting. <laughs> it makes you feel like really validated when he says it, because <laughs> he's like he sounds so genuine. I know. Thing, but <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> oh god, brilliant! Um, do you like Theresa May or love her? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Theresa May, on the other hand, shit in this game. Who is Theresa May? Theresa Mame, yeah, she's the JFW superstar. Nothing to do with Theresa Mame, oh, right. the Tory politician. No. Uh, and any. Tories? And any. Uh, any. Any. Uh... Imagine being so fucking obsessed with that <laughs> that you're about to go on holiday and you. And like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. Yeah, and any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental, <laughs> not intentional. Okay. Oh. No, no, because yeah, you wouldn't. Because yeah, the intangible things like that's the thing. Like that's the thing. Yeah, it's it's all the intangibles, unless that unless there was like a blood bowl supercomputer. It's 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 all the intangibles. Just make like. So really, the only time you can ever work out things that are optimal are like turn eight or turn sixteen players, and even then, probably only turn yeah. sixteen. And even then, maybe it's not because there's still the element of overtime equity as well, right? So like, yeah. So it's it's still really hard. But generally, turn eight or turn sixteen, when the only thing that matters is percentage chance to score, then yes, you can work out yeah. things. But mostly, there's there's failure states and all things, and 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 often, I'm sure, like the AI would do something like it do some like random. Two plus dodge first, totally out of sequence that would look terrible to us. Like I'm sure it would do things yeah. like that that we just wouldn't even consider because of the overall payoff and stuff. But anyway, there you go. It, interesting yeah. chat for a completely boring game. Um, congratulations, Thomas T. Uh, commiserations, Darius. You know, it's fair enough, isn't it? It was always going to be rough, like against you know Alex, yeah. really. Um, but you know, I think he made the play when he had to. He was forced into it by the uh, situation, as you often are, um, as flings versus elves, and then he lost when it fell, as you often do with flings versus elves. Yeah, ne neither neither did anything really wrong, did they? They just uh, just played out how you'd kind of expect. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Diddle, I, keep, I just want to keep wanting to say banana, and literally every time I just look at the banana picture, I just want to say banana. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Diddle, Chris. Uh, glorious as ever. <laughs> and, glorious uh, to be here as always. Oh, Don't forget yeah. to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>